Okay, so here we are at the chop saw. The first thing you need to know about the chop saw is it's basically an angle grinder. It has a fiber disc like an angle grinder, except it has that little clamp so you can clamp your stuff. If you come into the shop, never trust that any of the tools are set up 90 degrees. I should have said that when we were doing the bandsaw too. So the first thing I'm gonna do, if you wanna move this, like you can get this tight right now and loosen it, and then you can spin this forever and ever and ever to get it to come out, or you can flip this little release and you can pull it out of the way. Then I'm gonna take my square, I'm gonna set it up against the fence, and then Paxton, come to this side. I'm gonna set it down. Let's see if we can see that. And I'm gonna slide this up, oops. And see if that's square to the blade. And it actually looks pretty square. So we'll leave that there, okay? Next thing you're gonna do is take your piece of metal. And Paxton has scribed his line again. So we're gonna bring it over here, set it down, and then you can slide this up, get it close, lock it into place, and then you can tighten it down so that it doesn't move. And then this tool, to make it work, you just squeeze, whoops, and we'll wait for it to stop. I want this guard to be over the blade. But apparently, it doesn't want to be. There we go. It should be down. But as you cut, it slides out of the way. Okay? So to turn it on, you just squeeze, drop it down, and you're going to make your cut. Piece of cake. Again, this is what Paxton's going to do. So I'm going to loosen it all up, and Paxton does it. <laughs> 